taking place all over Chicago this morning, including right here in Studio 5. And joining me to cook up some Irish dishes is John Wool, owner of Finesse, and we also have Guy Michael, who is our chef. Thanks for joining us. Well, uh, St. Patrick's Day is a wonderful occasion to entertain, and Finesse is putting on some fabulous events tonight, celebrating traditional Irish-American fare. And you brought us some great food. Let's start over there. You say this is an old recipe in your own family. This is my wife's Nana's recipe, which was kept a secret for many, many years. It actually contains the same ingredients that almost every family uses, but somehow this is the best. And what is this called? Uh, this is yeah. an Irish soda bread. Irish soda bread. And, and with a little bit of sweet butter, it's simply delicious. I'm going to take a little bite of oh, that good. while the chef explains to us what this is here. i got to show you this up close. Take a look at that while it pours in there. It's pretty rich and thick. What mm -hmm. is this? It's a parsnip, apple, and celery root soup. Um, so it's nice for this time of year. Um, still a little chilly outside, so this will kind of warm up your bones a little bit. And uh, basically just caramelized uh, parsnips and apples, and then we puree it. And we've got a little uh, celery root relish in the uh, bowl there. Ooh, it looks beautiful. And if I can add, if you're not entertaining in a formal style, you can put this in a demitasse mug or a shooter glass, and it makes a perfect appetizer. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty fairly easy to make? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you just uh, sweat the vegetables and then uh, puree, and that's ready to go. All righty. And what is this here? Got uh, a little bit of Guinness braised uh, corned beef and cabbage. Um, there's a little bit of fennel and onions in the cabbage. Got roasted potatoes and carrots and little Brussels sprouts to kind of modernize it a little bit. And then uh, we just took and sliced the corned beef, and that's it. Now, if you could tell me how you prepared that, because this is pretty special. Um, yeah, we uh, marinated it with a little bit of Guinness and uh, herbs and spices, some peppercorns and uh, fennel seeds mustard seeds for about six hours and then we seared it and uh, braised it and then I have a little bit of the reduced uh, braising liquid here that you can kind of utilize as a sauce. Oh, how pretty. This is so aromatic in your kitchen. I was yeah. about to say that. I'm standing right here and it smells absolutely spectacular. Looks really good too, which Thank is very you. important presentation, right? isn't it? Presentation's important. This is delicious. I am enjoying this. So I'm going to let you guys talk while I continue here. We're well, going to end everything, yep. of course, with a wonderful dessert. Tell me about this. Okay, we have a little uh, chocolate chinois with uh, Bailey's buttercream and a little uh, white chocolate and Bailey's ganache. Oh, how beautiful. No and so, calories, no guilt. How much, how much Bailey's is in this? Um, about... A bottle. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's about two uh, tablespoons or so per cake, I would, I would imagine. Oh, all right. Just, uh, and you can add more if you'd like or, or less, take away. Right. Yeah. And Finesse is not a restaurant, is it? Finesse Cuisine is an off-premise dining concept. We come to your home your venue, your gallery, and we customize a beautiful event. Well, if the bread is any indication, it's absolutely delicious. Thank <laughs> you very much, gentlemen. We really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to ask you for some details on this because I think folks are going to want the recipe to this. Excellent. So we'll put it on our website. That would be at NBC5.com. And Finesse Cuisine is located at 1332 North Halstead Suite. There's a phone number for your convenience. Alex, we're going to go back to you. Did you want a little bread, maybe? Perhaps? Actually, that Guinness and corned beef sounds kind of good to me. <laughs> we'll save you a piece.